सो हाई एवरी वन टूडे वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एडवांसमेंट मेड टू द रैक सिस्टम विच हेल्प यू टू टॉक टू योर पी डी एफ टॉक टू योर टेक्सट फाइल वीडियोज एक्सेट्रा कॉल लेस ग्राफ रैक सो बेसिकली इन ग्राफ रैक वी वुड बी यूजिंग नॉलेज ग्राफ एंड एल एल एम्स टू एक्सट्रैक्ट इन्फॉर्मेशन फ्रॉम एक्सटर्नल डॉक्यूमेंट्स सो इन दिस पर्टिकुलर पोस्ट वील बी टॉकिंग अबाउट दीज फोर टॉपिक्स वॉट इज रैग एंड नॉलेज ग्राफ टू गेट स्टार्ट बिकॉज दीज आर द प्री रिक्विजिट्स वॉट इज एन इश्यू विद बेस लाइन रैग सिस्टम्स हाउ ग्राफ रैग वर्क एंड वॉट आर द एडवांटेजेस ऑफ ग्राफ रैग ओवर अ नाइफ ग्रैग फ्रेमवर्क सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वील ट्राई टू समराइज वेरी क्विकली हाउ रैग वर्क एंड वॉट आर नॉलेज ग्राफ्स सो एज यू कैन सी इन दिस पर्टिकुलर इमेज द वर्किंग ऑफ रैग इज वेरी सिंप्लीफाइड आई हैव ऑलरेडी कवर्ड दिस इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियोज यू कैन चेक दट आउट फॉर मोर डिटेल्ड डिस्कशन बट एज दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो इज ऑन ग्राफ रैग सो वी वुड बी कवरिंग रैग वर्किंग इन अ वेरी ब्रीफ सो एज यू कैन सी इफ यू प्रोवाइड एन एक्सटर्नल डॉक्यूमेंट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल द टेक्स फ्रॉम द डॉक्यूमेंट इज लोडेड यूजिंग डॉक्यूमेंट लोडर द टेक्स इज प्री प्रोसेस एंड देन एम्बेडिंग्स आर जनरेटेड एंड देन स्टोर इन वेक्टर डेटा बेसिस राइट नाउ वंस यू provide a query to the llm called as a retrieve uh, rack framework what it does it first of all rephrases the input according to the so that you can get the most valuable most relevant answers from the vector db based on vector similarity so output those documents which the llm would be rephrasing and giving you the output for so this is how rack works so here you can see a detail uh, a brief explanation on how rack works search as a vector db select the top relevant documents extract useful content combine this content with llm to generate an answer now uh, the, the second prerequisite is to know what are knowledge graphs so knowledge graphs i think if you have worked with graph databases like neo4j i think you would be well versed with knowledge graphs they are nothing but structured representation of information which captures multiple important information the first and the most important part of a knowledge graph is entities the fundamental units of a knowledge graph the no uh, so here you can see that uh, i would be showing you a sample knowledge graph so albert einstein theory of relativity university are entities so if you consider this particular knowledge graph here you can see that multiple entities are present so albert einstein theory of relativity are all entities attributes properties or characteristics of entities so if entity is albert einstein so the attributes can be his birth date his theories etc so information about the entity is called as attribute relationship is called as the relationship between two entities so albert einstein is related to theory of relativity by relationship developed so basically albert einstein developed theory of relativity hence developed the relationship and the other two are entities nodes and edges so basically these are very common uh, as we use in graphs so if you give an example entities in this particular case entities would be albert einstein theory of relativity photoelectric effect speed of light the uh, anything that is written, uh, written in brackets that is proposed relates to is the relationship between these two entities even developed as well and attributes would be information about the entity like birth date and what uh, what is this death date Uh, when they got the nobel prize all the other information now coming back to graph rack so basically now we know how rack works and what are knowledge graphs so if you have noticed there is a serious uh, issue once events you see the implementation of a baseline rack system so let's understand with an example what is the issue suppose a company has a large collection of internal documents say research papers technical reports emails all are in different formats different content now the goal is to answer what are the recent advancement in our ai research department so basically this is the query that the user is putting up now in case of our baseline rack system what will happen uh, the retrieval will happen such something like this it will search for the terms like recent advancement in ai research dev- department so basically it would be finding out documents similar to the words used in the query that's it it will be retrieving the top documents based on vector similarity makes sense so i think whatever document would be the most similar to the input query words would be fetched out and the response would be all the sentences that are having the maximum text similarity so the final output if you see assume that there is a huge text that we input would be something like this art now if you have noticed in the last sentence this is not 
providing me any information but it has still come up because ai advancement would have got the highest text similarity amongst all the sentences still it is not providing with me any information so the uh, semantic knowledge is missing from the rack system it is completely working on vector similarity and vector similarity as you also know has some disadvantages connecting the dots i think if you know uh, the above approach that i have explained misses out on two major points it might not be able to get all the related information all the related advancement that was present in the documents because it was not matching for the text similarity case so basically if any sentence was not having ai advancement in it or the word ai uh, the rack system won't have been able to pick that up in the final output also it might miss on the holistic understanding of the whole context so it is as it is focusing just on similar phrases so i think these are the two major issues that are present in rack that it is working solely on uh, text similarity and it is not understanding the whole context now here comes graph rack so basically instead of using a vector db graph rack uses knowledge graphs so as i told you what was a knowledge graph knowledge graph is basically a structured representation of the information that we have got so now we will try to understand how a knowledge graph works so this is basically an intuitive understanding we won't be jumping too much into the details so first of all llms are getting used to extract a knowledge graph from the text document that you have so basically by extracting a knowledge graph would be something around uh, a named entity recognition sort of a approach that we would be using for knowledge graph extraction so where it would be uh, trying to extract the relationship the entities etc and using the information extracted it will try to capture the semantic structure now once you are able to get the semantic structure of the data uh, we would be detecting communities of text try to understand it so basically assume that you have a document which talks about uh, the advancement made in ai agriculture ai space ai sports etc now it would be having in under these sections there would be multiple sentences all the advancement made in uh, under agricultural ai all the advancement made under sports ai etc so once the semantic structure is understood and knowledge graph has been extracted communities of sentences would be uh, detected and then summarized version of these communities would be generated right as you can see i am mentioning here community uh, community uh, summaries are getting generated so using a multiple sentences we are trying to generate summaries out of that which are similar in nature so which allows the system to answer global queries so if you are asking a uh, question which is not directly mentioned in the sentences but a collection of sentences can answer it i think now the uh, uh, updated rack system would be able to answer this because now we have summaries from all the different detected sum, uh, sections in the text using graph rack now when answering a user question graph rack what it does it retrieves the most relevant information from this community summaries and then uses it to condition the llm response so basically depending upon the question asked it will rephrase the summary and then forward to the user reducing hallucination and improving accuracy some of the major advantages of using graph rag over a baseline rag if you know is it gives you more complete and varied responses it won't be giving you the it won't be just using the sentences as it is mentioned generate responses that are better connected to the original data overviews of the data set at different level so that the user can understand the overall context and can be more efficient than summarizing the full text makes sense so the whole difference that i understood between rag and graph rag is basically the use of knowledge graph which is able to capture the whole context of the data set rather than just picking out the most similar sentences and then eventually rephrasing it before presenting it to the user and hence it is way better than as compared to the naive rag system so recently i think just a few days back microsoft has released Uh, a very hot GitHub repo called as Graph Rag, which is like right now trending on Git. So basically, you can check this repo how you can implement Graph Rag using Graph Rag repo by Microsoft. I would soon be sharing the codes also in my next video. Thank you so much.